were some rumblings early this season after a low production year for him last year that maybe the decline had started, but he has come back with a vengeance here of late and helped the Bruins to one of the NHL's best records since the Christmas break. 12 and 6. There's Noah Cakes in center. Hands off to Ryan Paling, flying on in, all the way around behind. Rapper on try, and he's denied that. Looked just like Scotty Hartnell last night. <laughs> you know, they're looking to move one of their stud goaltenders. Last year they stuck with Allmark and eventually ended up costing them in that Florida series, but something worth watching for sure. And Allmark with a save there on Scotty Lawton, who leaned into one. Marchand. He holds on and waits. Outside of the net, they get it to Zaki in front. A jab shot, and the save was made by Harrison as Van Riemsdyk. For Boston's power play, obviously Pasternak is the big threat, but another threat is their goal line play. And Shattenkirk tips the puck, fires with a chance here with numbers. They push it ahead. And here's Paling with it. Paling with the puck. Paling the shot. And the save by Omar. And back the other way go the Bruins, although Couturier is back to knock it down. And he gets it to Faraby. Faraby winds it, fires, and the save made by Omar. Next he was going to the net. And then he has the puck tipped back to center ice. No, as if Faraby saw Konechny there. Nice pass there from Faraby to TK. Tries to slide it off to Couturier. From the angle, the save. Rebound, Faraby in front, but he was checked. The handle pass for Faraby goes all the way down. There's number 33. Sam Harrison turns this one over, and a shot. He gets back in to make the save. Maybe he was watching you last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Faraby moving up. Faraby in across the line, trying to sift that one through. It rolls in on Omar. He'll scoop it up. Off the draw, the Bruins control. Now it's Morgan Yankee. Did some good hockey for the Bruins this year. Oh, big move in center ice here for Boquist. And his shot. Hides off of Harrison and then the glass. Here's Pasternak moving up. Pasternak, the shot off blocked by Sealer. Just behind the net to Pasternak. Centered it in front. Oh, what a save by Harrison. He robbed Zaka. As the Bruins get this puck and move ahead. Zaka off of the right side, Pasternak. He fires and scores. David Pasternak with a laser beats Harrison. The Bruins get the first one. Pasternak's 25th goal in his 29th game against the Flyers. And we talked about how lethal Pasternak is. And had a beautiful feed before that Harrison made a save on. And right here, he just uses Sandheim as a screen. And this is the talent that Pasternak has. You can see he waits. And he puts it right through the five hole of Sandheim and then rips it off the far post. Awfully difficult for Erson to locate that puck because it's not only the screen of Sandheim, it's also the drive by screen provided by him. Let's get the puck. Erson's right behind the net. Posternak zigging and zagging. Centers it in front. And Van Riemsdijk stopped by Harrison. The puck sat there for a moment. And the Flyers having difficulty with this line. Zaka across. McAvoy scores. Pretty much an empty net for him. And it's 2-0 Boston. I mean, Pasternak able to escape the check. Great save by Harrison. But then it's about the defensive zone coverage after that initial save because you get running around in your own zone and becomes difficult to sort things out. Yeah. Or Devil sends it diagonally into the Philadelphia zone. Walker a peek around. Laurier couldn't get a piece of that. Carlo shot, he scores! The arm goes up, but it's still a goal as the puck winds up in the net and three goals in rapid succession. And just like that, the Bruins have a 3 0 lead. So Laurier gives it to Carlo at the point, and much like we saw in the Detroit game, a bad break because this goes right off a sealer stick. It's really a nothing shot. You know, Carlo just wristing it to the net. Should be an easy find for Harrison. You can see he goes right off the shin pad of Sealer. And 45 to go in the period. Pasternak. Russell by York with the puck with Henry. He's like in front of another save. Rebound! And they score, and it's Pasternak again. There's too many bodies in front getting good looks, and Pasternak. As his second of the period and 33rd of the year, it's 4 0. Yeah, this is what I was referring to. If you can kill plays quickly, but give credit to Van Riemsdyk here. I mean, he, he wins a battle along with Pasternak. I mean, these guys were beasts behind the net. The work of the two of Pasternak and Van Riemsdyk, and then eventually the feed 
by JVR out front to Poston. I you got to give credit. I mean, those guys are digging in. They're winning battles. And if, if you don't kill it quickly, to snap out of it. And when, as a goaltender, when your head coach comes to you and talks like that, it, it, it makes you, it, it doesn't feel good to get pulled, but it, it kind of helps you out knowing that it wasn't all on you. And let's see. And then Carlo behind the net, Van Riemsdyk. Back to Carlo. Two go to him, the puck to Zaka. Zaka all the way out to the point. Lindholm, his shot deflected just wide. Pasternak got it back in front. Van Riemsdyk, and he scores. More of the same, and it's JVR with a goal. Ending a 10-game goal is Stroud and picking up his third point of the game, 5-0 Boston. To kill the offense early, it allows this line in particular to get going. And Pasternak was an absolute beast on this shift once again. He won several battles, initially on the back check on connecting in the neutral zone, and then in the corner against Drysdale. Therabee, they're all after him. Boy, diligent checking by the Bruins, too. Wouldn't let the Flyers really get free with it. Now Konechny cuts in front. Steve Olmark flashes the pad across. Konechny wants a penalty. I don't see an arm up. Yeah, he helped me out, and a good chance for Konechny here. He wanted a hooking call. That was coming, but a, another good save there by Olmark. You can see how he loads on that post and then that push with that right leg. And, as you mentioned, he's a big guy, six foot four. You got those long legs. And the Bruins cleared all the way down. It is going to lead to, no, they call off the icing at the last moment. And Sandheim will move it ahead to Forster. Forster gets away from Wotherspoon. Cuts to the middle of the shot. He scores! There's some of that goal scoring ability of Tyson Forster. No big celebration, but the Flyers are on the board. It's five to one. Well, what does that mean? What does it look like? This is what it looks like. Protect the puck. Water spoon bounces off of Forster, and then the skill can come into play. The drag, the shot, and it goes right through the legs of Olmark. A real determined effort from Forster there. Down to a two-point game with a couple of helpers. David Bostonak, still a three-point game with two goals. Sanheim picks it up, full gallop. He'll head out with it. Sanheim flying through the neutral zone. To the slot, the pass down, Lapeling! And the save made by Olmark. He wasn't sure he had it. From his own zone. And then a real nice play to kick it out to Konechny. And Konechny quickly gets it over to Paling. And Paling, who looks so good in the first period with a couple of chances. It's this one as it bounces right to his stick. Forster trying to recover. Goes to steal it for a shot. Off his stick, bounces to Excel, and he's checked by Carlo before he can get the shot off. Now he punches that puck forward. Here's Forster's shot. They score! Forster fired away, and it rang off the post. And Tyson Forster has himself a multiple goal game. It's 5 to 2. Probably his lack of goal scoring. Good hard work here by Lixell in the corner to win the puck. And Forster quickly gets it to the net. I think it goes off the Bruin defender. Goes right off the stick, I believe, of yeah, of Grizzling. And it changed direction off the post and in. And you know, you try and take minor victories in games like this. And for Forster to get it, good to see him get two here this afternoon. And Lixell will pick up, we believe, his second NHL point. Olmark, a huge save on Frost, and the puck that fluttered toward the goal. Konechny will fire, save Olmark, rebound, spit out, but the Bruins are able to get to it, and Van Riemsdyk will move it ahead. He's got Frederick, Frederick will wait and fire, and Sanheim pulls over Peterson, and the Bruins score. Charlie Coyle. Ah, yeah, it's going to be a goal. It's Sanheim that simply runs into Peterson without the aid of Charlie Coyle, and Coyle able to pick up the free change. Tough break for Peterson. Pass there is tipped away, and Paling will move it out to center ice. Ferry to it, and the Flyers will head into the All-Star break, having lost five in a row in regulation. The Bruins atop the NHL standings.